And ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to another night of prize boxing. Brought to you by Bobby D Presents, Bodisteca Boxing Promotions in association with San Diego House of Boxing and San Diego's Massey Ford Dealer. We're live from the Four Points Sheraton from Sunny SoCal, San Diego, California, USA. This bout is set for four rounds of boxing in the lightweight division. Sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission, Commissioner John Carvelli, Executive Officer Andy Foster, Supervisor in ringside, Brian Morris. Physicians in ringside, Drs. Brad Schwartz and Barry Gamboa. In front of the time, Mike Millsap. Here are three judges scoring this bout. Pat Russell, Alejandro Rochin, and Jose Cobian. Your referee in charge from Puerto Rico, Angel Mendez. Interesting to you first, the fighter standing in the blue corner. He wears black and red. He officially weighs in at 135 pounds. He holds 28 professional bouts, hailing out of San Luis, Rio, Colorado, Sonora, Mexico. Edgar Ivan Garcia. And his opponent across the ring in the red corner, wearing black, yes. wearing white and black. He officially weighs in the same 135 pounds, making tonight his pro debut. Hailing from San Diego, California, USA, the Fresh Prince, James Earl. And now to give out the final instructions, your referee, Angel Mendez. Four rounds. Gentlemen, I gave you the instructions at the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Caballero, ya saben las instrucciones en el camerino. Sigan las instrucciones. Protejan a todo momento. If you want to touch them up, do it now. Okay, good luck. All right, everybody, welcome to this Friday night fight edition of the Best in Boxing here on Fight Up TV. First bout about to get started in the lightweight division. Four rounds for you, James Earl, making his pro debut out of San Diego, California, taking on Edgar Ivan Garcia. Being joined by my co-host, Chris Martin, as well as Kevin Otley joining us here tonight. Hello, hello. Thank you guys for uh, being here with us as we begin the action uh, right away here, round number one. James Earl in the white trunks, popping that jab, going up against Edgar Ivan Garcia in the black trunks. Oh, big right hand there by Garcia. It's a good start so far for Garcia. As Earl. Popping that jab once more is Earl. One, two there. Garcia smiles at him. Garcia with a record of 7, 20, and 1. He's had a lot of fights. Let's see if Earl will be successful in his pro debut to handle all the pro experience that Garcia has. Good inside fighting here from Garcia. Yeah, Marcos, I always say that uh, even though despite the losses, you know, um, he, Garcia seems a little bit, like, well-schooled, you know, going to give him a hard time for his very pro fight uh, for Earl. A very effective jab from James Earl so far in this round, number one, dictating the fight overall with it. Kevin Otley, you're from the San Diego era. Have you seen uh, James in the gym? Um, you know what? I haven't had the opportunity to come across uh, James uh, personally as of yet, but I've heard nothing but great things from him. And um, obviously we, we know that he's training uh, with Vince Parra, which is also uh, Maurice Hooker's uh, trainer. And um, I guess he's on, you know, in good hands. So um, I'm be looking forward to seeing a lot of good things from him. You need to be careful not to get countered there, Chris. He just ate a big hook there from Garcia. Yeah, but he also delivered a very good shot to the body, uh, which I was going to mention. But you're right, he, he did get hit with a little hook. I don't think it was anything that, that was too bothersome. Very composed for his first fight. This James Usually guys are a little bit overexcited. Wild punches. 
Not so much for the young Earl here. Coming to one minute left in this opening round. Earl in control. Very workmanlike jab to start off this first round. Misses that punch right there as the crowd gets in on, gets tagged there, does Earl. Has a good poker face. And like I mentioned, Garcia is game. He's right there, he is game. One thing I like that I'm seeing from um, James so far is that uh, in his first fight, um, he's, it looks like he's wants to get a little bit of experience. Um, he's not in there with a guy that is of his caliber as of right now, as what we can see. But he's just taking his time, you know, and, and that's what we need. We need guys that want to actually learn the sport. And you got to be in the ring, you know, and getting rounds to actually learn the sport. So I like what I'm seeing so far. The crowd appreciating the work of, of both Edgar Garcia and, and James Earl. If you're in James Earl's corner, Kevin, you, you got to give him a pat on the back. That, that was a Good first round from him, and a very active uh, jab from him in that round. Yeah, 110 percent. And like I said, like I, I think that maybe like his game plan is honestly not even to knock this guy out. I think it's to like just get experience. This is his first fight. You know, he got a long road to go, and he got a lot of things to learn. You know, so he actually needs that in ring uh, experience. Uh, James does. So I think they are definitely happy with him. Chris, what'd you make of the first round and what James uh, showed here? Uh, very good first round by James. You know, he was boxing uh, behind the jab, pressure when he had to. Uh, like I mentioned, though, Gar Garcia is game, man. He's going to give this guy rounds. Um, but very dominant round for, for, for James Earl in that, in that first round. Round number two here at the Four Point Sheridan in San Diego, California. You're seeing James Earl. And his second pro fight landing a big shot there on Edgar Garcia. Garcia got a chin though. He's able to take these punches so far with very little effect as both fighters are exchanging in the pockets right now. Great Earl shots to the off. body. Great yes, shots to the body. Shots. Zero continues to be the fighter that presses forward, pressuring Edgar Ivan Garcia. Good one two there from him. Follows it up with a hook. Garcia starting to wilt a little bit from these well-placed punches from Earl. Digs at the body, goes to the head, digs at the body again. Does Earl, shows good defense, blocking the punches from Ivan Garcia. Both fighters exchanging here. The crowd responding to the action that we're seeing. If you're Edgar Garcia, this is the type of fight that you're going to want to have. You know the guy's a better boxer than you. You're going to want to exchange in the pocket and make it rough, Chris. Yeah, absolutely. That's his only chance is to make it rough, uh, come forward fight. If Earl has the distance, Earl's going to pick him apart. Um, but right now, Garcia's making it a fight, making it interesting, too. Earl has shown a lot of great things. Obviously, we're not going to be able to see his whole repertoire in this first fight. We don't have any other content to go off of uh, for him right now, but... He's showing poise, and for me, um, I think that's the number one thing when you talk about a, a, a professional fighter, a professional boxer at that, is your poise. And he's shown a lot of poise in this fight. He's picking his shots, and he's just doing what he wants to do, you know? So, you know, I think his development is just gonna be amazing uh, in, in, in fights going forward. To his credit, Garcia is able to land punches, but they just don't have the same amount of power as Earl's punches are, but he is able to land there, and, and it has countered really well so far. I think James Earl is blocking a lot of those shots, those overhand rights that, that Garcia's throwing. But he's looking good right now. Stiff jab to the body there from Earl. Garcia with his mouth open, eats another punch at the top of the head, and follows it up with a one-two. Earl's been in control of this fight from the beginning. Yeah, at this point, uh, Garcia is just extremely frustrated. He's like, I don't know how to really touch this guy. He's only had success in these. Well, there we go. He's touching right him right there. now. That's true. <laughs> exactly. This is his chance right here. As the crowd likes what they're seeing, both fighters exchanging on the inside. Great finish to round number two.
We're looking at the corner of James Earl making his pro debut. And his opponent, Edgar Ivan Garcia, who's been trying when he can to make it into a dog fight and has had some success, Chris, with the, the counter punches that he's landed. He, he has, you know, especially those looping overhand rights. You know, something that you don't really prepare for in the gym, or it's kind of hard to see, too, uh, with the smaller gloves. Um, but Earl's handling it good. You know, he's picking him apart, picking apart Garcia. I think uh, if he goes to the body a little bit more, I think he can get him out of there. But, but that's what he needs to do. And I believe in his corner, he has that experience. And that's probably what they're telling him. Go to that body. You know, what's impressing me so far, uh, Kevin, is for his pro debut, he's not fighting like it is his pro debut. He's fighting very maturely, uh, very composed. Yeah, 110%. That's what I was saying. Like, his, his poise to me is sticking out more than anything right now. You could, uh, you know, every fighter is going to need development at the professional level. So, you know, as long as they can understand what they're doing in the ring, which equals poise or composure, then, you know, they could develop, you know, and that's what he's showing, so. As the two fighters exchange now, Garcia's been the one bringing the fight to Earl at, at, at points in this bout. Oh, big uh, overhand big right overhand there from right. Garcia. Yeah, <laughs> Garcia's not going out with our fight. It's been an entertaining fight thus far here to kick things off. Over here at Best in Boxing on Fight of TV. Five more bouts headed your way with Kevin Torres taking on Andrew Rogers in our main event. And in a special attraction, Ricardo Valdovinos taking on Giovanni Gonzalez coming later tonight here from the Four Point Sheridan as Garcia lands another big overhand right. But he's breathing really heavy now, Chris. That body work affecting him from Earl. He, he, is, he is landing, but they're, they're far and few between, Marcos. Um, I think uh, James Earl is definitely doing the better work in all three rounds. Uh, right now, he's actually digging to the body pretty good, and that's what he needs to do. You know, it seems as Garcia has a tough chin, that body looks softer. Both fighters willing to exchange on the inside. Earl being very smart there, landing his punches and taking a half step back to avoid the response from Garcia. Just winged the punch there and missed big time. Stop. Fatigue starting to set in for Garcia, has his mouth wide open. And his mouthpiece almost out too. Yeah, not a good sign. Zero has him pinned in this corner here. Just teeing off on him. A lot of these punches, though, being blocked as he eats a punch there in response from Garcia. So we're coming down to the last oh, 30 seconds shot. of this round. That was a Solid punch there landed by Earl, like you mentioned, Chris. Some good back and forth moments from both these guys. James Earl's doing the exact thing he's supposed to do. He's just putting on the pressure, has a tough guy in Garcia. You know, um, he's gonna give everybody trouble, Garcia is. You know, and Earl's doing the right thing. Just put the pressure, throw punches, stay poised. It's a good round number three in the books. And Kevin, three rounds in, you gotta think Earl is in control in this fight. He's gotten hit, but I feel overall he's landed the effective punches. Uh, yeah, absolutely. No doing question about it. But I, I, I just want to point out, just that last round, I saw, I think, a little bit of fatigue coming out of Earl. Um, so I'm going to be interested in how he closes this last round out. Kevin, what do you want to see more of, uh, of James so far? I, I believe he's doing everything he's supposed to. Uh, Marcos, I, I think I would like to see a little bit more body shots. He did throw a few of them. I saw him hurt Garcia a couple times with the body shots. But if he goes in there and digs a little bit more, he's going to be more effective. I also want to add to that, too. What I would. Okay. You Ladies see, and gentlemen, San Diego right, Mossy Ford presents. If in, that, in that exchange right there, I would like to see James throw a little bit more combinations. I think that he is a type of fighter that is very technical, 
And sometimes the biggest obstacle for technical fighters is actually throwing combinations. So I would like to see a little bit more combinations come down to James. In the last round here, James Earl looking for his first career win. Has a stern test though, and, and Edgar Ivan Garcia, who's been game, though he's been outworked, outlanded in this bout, he has landed his own punches, but it hasn't been enough so far to keep Earl off of him. Good work here from Earl. Crowd loving what they're seeing here. Good action. Earl just digging in those guts. Garcia smiling. And it's always when you smile is when you acknowledge that your opponent got a good punch on you. Yeah, sometimes it's just that. May not have hurt. May not have hurt. But you, you, you acknowledge. He got me. You can hear those punches yeah. here from ringside. Yeah. Big Earl's punch. just digging into that body. Oh. Cool with a big left hook just now. Just a short one in the middle. Yeah, he's there you go, but Garcia responds stoppage. though. First win, first stoppage. Yeah, he really wants that stoppage. Non-stop punches now from Earl. And Garcia doesn't want to give it to him. Is yeah, he's it? picking up that work rate. Oh boy. Not as much power as we saw in maybe the first or second round now from Earl. Maybe fatigue yeah. setting in a, just a little bit for him as well. Yeah, I agree with that. I don't think that's uh, as much. Uh, oh, my goodness. Oh, oh down play. goes Garcia. Well played shot there from James Earl. Five, six, seven. Beautiful hook to the body. Oh, well, I thought it was a low blow for a second, but okay. It was right on, right on the money, right on it. Let's see if Earl now can go for the kill. Get his first career win here. His pro debut. He wants the knockout. Both guys duking it out here. Great action so far at the four point Sheridan as Earl looking to close out the show. Has Garcia where he wants him. Oh Wilting, nonstop I'm, punches. I'm Garcia's sure. corner is telling him to move as Earl continues his onslaught. Man, I tell you what though, Earl's hands, his knuckles are going to be throbbing after this fight. As many times he's hitting this guy on the skull, I know his hands are going to be... look at Garcia hit. taking a deep breath here, knowing that he only has 12 seconds left in this ten round. Seconds, ten seconds, ten seconds. Let's see if he can make it through. Earl, continuing the pressure. Garcia oh, responding. Boy. Excellent fight wow. here to kick off things on Fight Hub. Wow. James Earl, Edgar wow. Ivan Garcia going toe-to-toe -to -toe there at the very end. What a fight. Wow. Just the kind of fight that you want as yeah. a management team for your young fighter. Absolutely. Um, he toughed it out. Every, every, sing every single second of this fight, he toughed it out. Uh, Garcia was game. He didn't just come here to fold, turn, in, uh, turn his back, nothing. He was here to fight. Garcia. Yeah, for a first fight, I think that was amazing for James because he had to he had to tough it out as well, you know. And um, you know, uh, Garcia did not stop. He continued to come forward, and he continued to he actually hit James with a couple big shots. Yeah, very very far and few between, but he did hit him. Um, didn't win any rounds, but uh, that's exactly the type of work that you want as a young prospect, James Earl. Um, pretty sure four zero. Yeah, yeah, tough assignment absolutely. for uh, your first fight as we. Take a look at the first knockout that happened here. Knockdown, excuse me, that happened here. Well, we saw part of it. We didn't get the actual knockdown as we see Garcia on a knee taking a deep breath. See if we can get a different angle of that. So we see what we should think is a victorious James Zero. He tried to get the... A stoppage win here in his first fight, but overall very solid performance from him. Yeah, I would say for a first out and a very uh, a professional debut, I think that was an amazing out. And he did he did a great job. Um, there was a couple things he could have worked on. I think he dropped his left hand a little bit too much. I think that was the reason he got caught with those overhand rights. But other than that, his poise, his jab, um, you know, he did a good job.
And ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds of boxing, we now go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges have the same scores. Pat Russell, Alejandro Rochin, and Jose Cobian, 42-35. For your winner, by the way, of unanimous decision. From San Diego, California, USA, James, the French Prince, Earl. He's not from West Philadelphia, but he's from San Diego, and he looked pretty fresh and also in his debut. For Edgar, Ivan Garcia. There's Pablo Flores there, making it official. James Earl getting the first pro win of his career, winning via unanimous decision, 40 to 35 on all three judges' scorecards. Has a bright future ahead of him as he put on a solid performance here tonight at the Four Points Sheridan here in San Diego, California. Well said.